now in the past two months, more Lubbock businesses have been suspended by the Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission. KLBK's Grace Morris spoke with the TABC today. If a business gets suspended, are they forced to close? Businesses that get suspended, Terry, aren't forced to close entirely. They're still allowed to sell food, but a suspension means that they're prohibited from selling or serving alcohol until the TABC lifts that suspension. The office grill and sports bar and Cricket's Draft House joining the ranks of the over 30 other businesses in Lubbock County that have received a TABC suspension or warning since the start of the pandemic. And in many cases, we're able to get businesses back on tracks with perhaps a simple warning or, you know, instructions on how to get back into compliance. But again, in a few cases, we do have to issue um, a suspension to get them to cease serving, serving alcohol temporarily until they can get back into the swing of things. The office receiving its suspension back in December, while crickets got their suspension on the 16th of January. Both bars were suspended for a week before being allowed to reopen. We're not out there to try and shut people down and really uh, just be draconian. What we want to do is work with businesses and understand their circumstances and their challenges as we as we go out and try to keep the people of Texas is safe. And what we found by and large, the majority, the vast majority of businesses want to do that same thing. Under Governor Abbott's current executive order, bars are allowed to be at 50% capacity in areas with lower hospitalization rates. Lubbock currently sits at 14.5%. Porter says the TABC does around a thousand bar inspections across the state every week, all in an effort to keep the case numbers as low as possible. By keeping the industry safe and by keeping customers' expectations and, and businesses' expectations in line with with safe practices, we're able to keep this industry going in a way that um, both serves people's financial pocketbooks as well as keeping the customer's health uh, at front of minds. Neither bar could be reached for comment, but the TBC says that if you see a bar that looks like it's in violation of the governor's order, to make sure to contact the TABC. That number's on the bottom of your screen and on our website, everythinglubbock.com.